What is going on, guys? It's your boy Revs, and today I'm bringing you an After Effects tutorial. And I'm we're actually going to be making this. This is a thumbnail that I basically made within After Effects. Now, a lot of people don't do it. They usually use Photoshop, or they'll get you know a GFX buddy to make it. But me, I don't have that luxury, so. Basically, I had to do this, the my last one, on my own. Which uh, actually turned out really good. I liked it. Here is the last one, if you haven't seen it already. Um, it was for the fire trap tutorial. And if you guys watched it, then you know exactly what frame this is and where we stopped off at that point, too. Uh, where I started saying, oh, that's badass, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, I made the tutorial thumbnail over that part. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to make, you know, this one. So let's go ahead and make a new comp. Uh, find a picture, or I mean a clip or something, you know, a picture if you want. But I'm going to use a live clip. You know, this is going to be a live clip right here. I think I'm gonna pick about right here. Um, all right. So first off, what you want to do is you want to find the frame that you want to use as your still image. As soon as you find it, right-click it, go to Time, Freeze Frame, and now this is one solid frame. Now you want to go to that point, press B, then E, B, then N. My bad. Right-click those yellow markers that are in between it. Trim comp to work area, and now you have one frame. It is one single frame um, for this. And now this is what we're going to use to edit. We we'll make our thumbnail. This is our background, basically. And you can do some rotating and some scaling and stuff like that if you want. I didn't do it last time, um, but it's all up to you. Now basically what we're going to do is also add a color correction. So make a new adjustment layer, control alt y or right click, go to new, go to adjustment layer. You know, we're we're pros by now, you know, we're pretty good. So we're kind of not really some scrub just, you know, making something. We're doing something really cool. Um, I'm actually just going to use one of my just my boost. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Alright, I'll just use this one. That's a little bit much. Alright, that's that's good enough for me. I'm I'm pretty happy with this. It works, you know. Okay. So basically now that we got a little color correction on it, you know, we got our thing on here. Um, I want to add a little bit of depth of field to my background. So basically I want to make this character pop out a little bit more, you know, just to add a little bit of depth of field. Um, there are multiple ways that you can do this, but for me I find it a little bit easier to do it this way. So control D on your clip or just duplicate it. Get your pen tool and just mask out around him or you can go to the roto brush tool double click your background clip that you're going to mask out and then just go off and kind of do all this and if you got some of him just uh, hold alt and you know click where he is stupid okay that looks like a pretty good mask I'm gonna kinda get in between his legs and stuff no homo right. yeah that that's, that seems pretty good alright so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Gaussian Blur Just kind of do that. And then there you go. 
Now, obviously, you know, that little part right there is a little blurry, but we're going to add some bars anyway, so that's quite all right. As you guys can see, you know, we have a pretty good, uh, you know, mask, and it only took, you know, a couple seconds. Now, obviously, you can smooth this out, you know, do whatever, and if you want to see the, you know, actual effects or, like, what you're doing, you want to go back to here and you kind of want to just mess around with it. Really, it's just the smoothing out that you want to be messing with. Gosh, I can't talk. You can invert it, of course, if you want. Refine map, don't want to do that. Alright. So yeah, as you guys can see, got that. Now what we want to do is we're going to add some text. Brave tutorial. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and square this thing up. This is for 2D, just so you guys know. Now, last, I don't really like the red text, so I'm going to go and change this. I'm going to, I'm actually going to make it, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make it white right now. Alright. Now, what we're going to do is right click the text, go to layer styles, go to uh, drop shadow. As you guys see, that automatically, you know, made it pop out just a little bit more. Spread. This is going to kind of make it a little bit bigger. And size is going to blur out that thing. The uh, drop shadow. Move the distance back just a tiny bit. Around like 10 or something like that. And maybe drag it to size a little bit more. And if you want, you can use a gradient. Go to layer styles and go to gradient overlay. And as you guys can see, that is going to make a gradient over the text. Uh, you can go to colors, you know, exit, or yeah, edit the gradient. You can switch the colors, you know, just to invert it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's looking all right. Me, I'd rather just have you know, like whenever I like blue. So I mean, it's my name, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and use a blue, and then I want the tutorial to be black. Grave tutorial, yeah. Um, there are other there are other layer styles like outer glow, you know, junk like that. Um, if you do outer glow, you're going to want to bump up, like, the size. If you want to make it, like, an actual glow. Um, if you're going to use an outer glow, if you want a glow, just, you know, search up glow. You know, just do that. Go to A and B. Whoops. You know, just do that because it's so much easier and it will take a good little bit of your time up. I mean, obviously, you don't have to do that because it looks like shit with mine, but you know, whichever one you want to do. <clears throat> um, next, we can do some 3D text. And actually, you want to make sure the adjustment layer is up at the top. That way, you know, the text is uh, inside here. And I actually want to add a flare as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Make a new solid. Click up off flares. Um, make that screen. Or add whichever one you prefer. Hmm. 
Um, I'm just going to do a preset, I guess. You know, just to make this faster. I'm actually going to add me some, some doit. Get some doit on it. Uh, that's alright. Yeah, it could always look a lot worse, so. Alright, so let's go ahead and make some 3D text. You are going to need element for this, so uh, make sure you have element. I'm actually going to use a fast put on this. That way it looks a little bit more. Yeah, it blends in with the background a little bit. And you can, of course, change the tint to this as well if you want. I think a nice little blue one. Uh, rotate it. I don't give a shite what you do with it. It's all you. Alright, now make some element. I can't even spell. Elbted. That's what it said. Alright, now we'll go to custom layers. You know, you guys know how to use element. Let's do that. Screw this bad boy. I got pro shaders. I don't know how you guys can get them, but uh, just look that up. Wink, wink. You know, blah, blah, blah. Look that up. Then after that, you know, scale it up. You know, it's all pretty simple. Um, just basically what it is, is, uh, you know, having the creativity to kind of make something out of it, basically. Like, you just have to have the creativity to keep going with it. Um, I'm actually going to scale this thing just a little bit. I guess I can scale it up. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we can actually add a drop shadow onto this. And that makes it, you know, just like last time, makes it, you know, a little bit and pops it out. That is looking a little bit too big. Yeah. And then you can add a light because you're using some 3D text. This one's a little bit better than the last one. The last light I used was like it just made everything black, and I've also it also might have been this color correction I was using too. Yeah, but this is basically it, guys. Hopefully you all enjoy it, and I will be putting a link down below with the final outcome. But uh, as you guys can see, you know obviously I can mess with this. You know, the flare. Uh, the flare could be a little bit better. I cannot lie. It is not the greatest flare to be using for it. That thing looks pretty tight, but uh. Yeah, basically, like, that's it, guys. Like, it's super simple, super easy to make. Um, this is basically for people like me that suck with Photoshop or don't even have it. Um, like you shouldn't be limited and these things help so much I've been really enjoying making them and it seems you know it seems like you guys and everybody else has been enjoying them like I, I, I'm I not big into them but you know what um, it's not all about me so uh, your subs will definitely enjoy you know having a little bit more of a visual like a, a cool picture basically to just show off your video. I mean, 
not rocket science. Um, this shit looks pretty cool. I'm actually very much enjoying how this one turned out. Um, it's really grungy, you know, really hardcore looking, and that's my kind of shit. So this turns out pretty sick. I might actually just keep this and, you know, use this for my next video. Um, but anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this, and please leave a like if you did, because this is really cool. And, you know, it always tells me, obviously, that you guys are enjoying the videos. Leave a dislike if you didn't. I love you guys, too. Um, if you have any tutorial suggestions, hit me up on Twitter, or you can PM me on here. Or just comment down below. I will definitely get back to you, and I'll even get more in touch with you, and we can discuss what kind of a tutorial that you're actually really wanting and stuff like that. And I do give shout-outs to everybody who does, you know, bring tutorials to my attention, and it's always does it at the end. I'm really sorry. Um, but, yeah, I always give out shout-outs to anybody who uh, asks for a tutorial, you know, because you guys are actually wanting to learn. It's kind of one of those things. A thirst for knowledge is something that's rare in my um, opinion. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you all later. All right? Peace.